Hey guys, welcome to another Run 8 video. Today I'm going to try to go over a bit of how to do locals, how to do work, uh, stuff like that. If you're just not wanting to do some A to B, which is relatively easy, uh, and I, I say relative lightly, uh, this is a little bit different, and it's taken me a while to get a grasp on things. I still don't have a firm grasp, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting there. Uh, but hopefully this video will be somewhat helpful if you're new to the thing like me and you just want to do stuff, you know, or you may be flying solo right now or not in a server, you know, with just stuff flying left and right. But um, first things first is the main menu for Run 8 Train Simulator. I'd also like to note that I've only got the basic stuff that we're going to go over here today. So if you buy Run 8 V3, the very, very basic stuff is uh, all you're going to need here to do this. So first things first, this down here on the left, don't mess with this. Um, this will load certain sections of track only so it, it'll do things with the AI track will be missing a bunch of weird stuff don't mess with this down here use this up here your regions so this comes with a base game UPP and SF Southwest US or SoCal plus Arizona uh, so select scenario now the extra board to explain these because I didn't understand this for the longest time the extra board is basically a blank world. So wherever you choose, uh, Amboy on the Needles, Summit on Cajon, uh, let's see, Yer Yermo on Barstow Yermo, it's going to place you there once you hit launch. The world will be blank. Uh, it'll be completely void and empty of anything uh, unless you turn on AI trains. Um and of course auto and all that good stuff but what that's for is you can just hop in a particular point and make a train and go uh, train are set up trains so these you know just like they say they're they're actual trains actual train numbers some of these I'm not sure if they're still entirely correct one-to-one -one with realistic stuff but uh, this is kind of like a quick drive you know if you're used to say train, train simulator classic you hop in one of these quick drive you go uh, world is a populated area now all you're gonna get with a base game are v3 busy barstow and default root session these other ones I've just been messing around with stuff um, so what this is is a loaded uh, like a preloaded world with uh, trains uh, some industry and things like that autosave it's autosave. I'm not entirely sure how this works. I haven't really messed with it. I guess it autosaves something, and if you mess up or the game crashes or you derail or something, you can just go back and reload. So, for the purpose of the video and trying to keep this very linear and quick, as I can possibly keep it, we're going to do default root session and launch. Now, for the sake of that, uh, I'm going to go to another yard. It's going to launch us or load us in here in uh, Barstow. So Barstow's big. Uh, West Colton's big. There's not a lot of small yards that come default, um, you know, with what you get uh, in V3. So we're going to go to Mojave because it's a small yard. Just to try to keep it simple, you got to start small, you know, baby steps before you run, right? So we're going to come over here. A neat trick you can do is, let's see... You can hover over here with your mouse. You see the uh, the yellow square here, and hit space bar. You'll hear magical Star Trek, you know, music. Not entirely sure what that's from. Hit Shift F12. That'll put us in the free cam, kind of like the eight key in uh, Train Sim. And you can now see we're in Mojave. Got a couple of trains sitting here. It's populated. Next thing you need to do. If you know, if you want to do locals and industries and stuff like that, right control F8. That'll turn on your industry tags. You can't see any right here because, well, we don't have any industries near here. Left control F8 puts on your rail car tags. So I'm going to hit it again. And there you go. Now they've got their destination. So you can go between a couple. You've got destination, train stats, which none of these have stats right now, off. And then here's unit numbers. That's the number of the stock, essentially. Uh, we're going to hit it again. We're going to put it back on destination. Okay. So it, it, it took me a while to, to kind of come to terms with this and figure this all out because there's a lot to learn. This is, 
you know, I thought Railroads Online was a tough game. This is, well, for starters, it's not a game. I have a habit of saying that. This is very much a simulator. Um, but it, it's going to take a lot of reading. I recommend just read the user guides that come with the game over and over and over and try to memorize them. And the second thing you can do is I'm going to do some fancy screen work here. Pardon me. Let's try that again. Please cooperate. There we go. You're going to want to go to the depot. This right here. This is a, a third-party community for Run 8. This website is invaluable. It's helped me a ton. I'm sure it's helped other people a ton as well. There's a lot of good members that help answering questions and get ideas and things of that nature. But it's got tags and maps that don't come with the base game. It just helps so, so, so much more. It's very invaluable and very, very helpful. So one of the things you can do is, let's see, this is the home screen here. You don't even need a membership to do this, right? You see up here, it says join login. I'm not even logged in. You go to maps, and then down here, you've got every map of everything currently in the game. This is an overall map, SoCal overview. You got CSX stuff down here, and then SoCal in Arizona down here. Now, first things first, I'd like to mention, this may not be entirely 110 million percent up to date with the latest version of Run 8. Uh, for the most part, it will be, but there are new lines, new industries, things like that, some different tags, I'm sure. But this is a good place to get started because you really don't have any other options, if I'm honest. And that's fine because this is really, really good. So we're going to focus on the Mojave sub, right? So that's it right there. That's us. Let's go ahead and click that. You can download the map. I just opted to click on it. This is the Mojave sub. It is way more detailed than your F3 map in the game. It shows industries. It shows, shows sighting lengths, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Or it's near perfect. Anyway, uh, let's go back up to our yard. So we're going to choose a small yard. Just try and keep this simple. We're going to try and KISS it. Uh, this is us right here, Mojave Yard. Now, on this map, not only does it show the signals, the lines, the lengths, uh, north, south, east, west, all that good stuff, but it shows the industries, which are very, very helpful. So today, we're going to do a local. So let's go to that next. Let me go to the depot now. All right. Oh, home. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, reference and we're going to click on destination tags. Going to click on Southern California because that's where we are. We're going to go down and we want to do a local. So we're just going to click here to sort by local. We're going to go all the way down. Now, this is going to cover every bit of DLC in the game. You will not have all these starting out unless, of course, you have everything for the game. Um, so we're going to go down to Mojave. Mojave's got two locals, LOP51 and LOP53. Just because I've chosen LOP53. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be LOP53, but we're going to be a very, very small tiny baby version of LOP 53 serving two industries and I'm going to do that very poorly. One of the places we're going to go is Camira Water Solutions and what's cool is not only does it show the tag but it shows what this place looks like. So that's what it looks like. It also shows the rail cars. So what you need to bring. What do you need to bring? You know maybe some shallow guns for scrap or whatever the hell and some tanks. So that's what you need there. We're also going to go to progress rail so down here prs progress rail you can see th these charts are amazing so it's it's served by up mojave that's up it's lop 53 that's the local mojave it shows you what page you need to go to for different things your mile marker uh everything or mile post sorry progress rail shows you what that looks like and what they typically get so they got some boxcars sitting there okay good deal so on your map you can pretty much find out where that's at. We're going to be spawned here in the blue, Mojave Yard. Now, to the left is most always west. To the right is most always east. So we're going to be going to the west, even though we're going to be going north. Um, and you can see down here, this is the yard lead. So this is where we're going to be coming out of. 
it's going to continue right here and we're going to cross over we're going to go up here here's progress rail prs they got two spurs and chimera kws and they've got three and that's who we're going to be serving today this also goes to the lone pine branch which i very much want and hope to get at some point because uh, there's Cyril's yard down there as well, which which has quite a bit of activity, and it goes to Trona as well, which is a pretty cool area. But uh, anywho, linearity, you know, for the sake of the video, let's uh, let's KIS it here, KIS S it, or just KIS. Keep it simple. That works too. Um, all right, so we got our tags. So now. What's interesting about this is you could just click on one of these trains and go. Like this right here, this is a maintenance away train, most likely. It doesn't have anything on it. Now, you'll hear that. You hear the, the air brakes, right? I clicked on it. That means you take charge of it. So if you're just clicking on stuff willy-nilly and go around and then you see a train you want to hop in and do and it says, well, you can't because you've got control of another train, make sure whatever you click on, you hit relinquish shortly afterwards. Otherwise, you'll be like, what train was I in? Um... These here are numbered, so that's LOQ-53. Uh, this one here, I believe, is some kind of road train bringing in some coal, possibly for Cal Portland up the hill there uh, behind us. So, for example, the local that we're going to be doing is actually down here. So if you just want to load in and grab a hold of this son of a gun right here, then there you go. That's LOP-53 right there, but we're actually going to be... We're going to do pretensies and uh, pretend that we're LOP 53 today. He's over here serving that industry. So that's pretty much how the tags work. Let me make sure I relinquished everything here. There we go. Yep, I didn't relinquish that. So, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get some chooches down here. Okay, um, as you can see on the right, it saved what I have, and I want to do some GP40-2s, but they are not extremely powerful. Um, as you can see down here, that's that's loaded, 3 HPT. There's some serious grades in these tiny industries, so I'm going to add a couple more. I'm going to add at least just one more. We'll do DNRGW. There we go. And we'll reverse it as well. Uh, neat trick, if when you bring one of your locos over here, if you want to reverse it, just right-click it, and it'll reverse it. Short hood forward, long hood forward, all that good stuff. So I've got the cars here set out for what we want to do today. Um, let's get rid of a couple. There we go. Let's make it an even number. All right. So we've got four box cars on the back and a couple of tanks. Let's go ahead and place the train. I place it right there. And bam, there we go. Now as you can see, it says none because there's nothing assigned to it. It's just a random train. So let's go ahead and click on it. And with the things I show you, showed you from the depot that are very, very helpful, uh, it gives you all the tags. So that tag for that local is what you're going to want to put in here. So this puppy here, train symbol, we're going to go ahead and click that and put LOP 53. Now you could put, like in my last video, banana, you know, broccoli, uh, chimichanga, whatever you want to put down here. But for the sake of auto, the AI dispatcher and you wanting to go where you want to go and go correctly on any of these maps these train symbols and destinations are paramount that's how it routes you um, so anyway we're LOP 53 we'll go ahead and fire them up We got the uh, the train weight full because these are loads. Ah, one thing I need to do, pardon my sloppiness. We need to get rid of these, so let's go ahead and delete those. There we go, because we're gonna need some room there, right? We're not. Re this this isn't really gonna be a full job. This is for the sake of hopefully helping uh, someone that may have be confused. 
about this whole thing as I was and just trying to get some some help just how to get started hopefully this will somewhat help people um, so let's see we've got our engine tagged there we go so now we've got our cars now they still say none as well so what you're gonna want to do here let's open the tagger so there's our locos and our tank cars. so our tank cars they are gonna go to KWS so we're gonna put LOP 53 right and then KWS I'm gonna copy this control C control V control V for each tank because that's where they're all going right there we go good deal for the box car same deal it's gonna be LOP 53 and then it's going to progress so that's PRS I'm gonna copy that All right, we should be good, yeah? All right, let's try and tie these suckers on. I mean, they're already hooked up to the train, right? But let's make sure they're getting air. So let's make sure that's closed. It is. The handbrake is on. Going to go ahead and throw an EOT on there. Okay. We're going to go to the front one. click on the the car closest to the engine here the angle clock angle angle clock new word angle cock is currently closed so first let's connect the hose and we're gonna just open this one so that one's open handbrake still set now we're gonna click on the locomotive coupler and air hose is connected obviously and you're gonna want to partially open this don't open it right away or it'll just dump the whole trains air it'll flip the PCS all that good stuff just partially open it give it time to equalize so I'm gonna open the HUD up here as you can see up here main res and equalizer res are going up nice and slow just want to give it time to level out you can hop in here as well and take a look Control F11 again to hop in the locomotive. Now essentially you want the CFM to be below I think 100, which it looks about like it is. Uh, and then you can open it fully. So let's go ahead and pop it open. So I still got it up here, right? We're going to go ahead and pop it open and see what happens. There we go. Just quicker. Just dumping a little bit quicker, which is what we want, right? All right, so are we reet? Handbrake is set. Da, 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 da. Open, open. So I think we're good, right? We're aired up with these cars, yeah. So let's go ahead and hop back in. Now, let's get rid of that. For the sake of expediety, is that a word? Expedition. Expediting? Expediting? We'll go with expediting expediting the video and what I'm trying to convey here we're not going to use auto I think he may already be on no he's not okay so if you turn this on he will not give you the chance to cross the main line until whatever trains within miles and miles and miles have passed because he is not going to stop those trains for your little old behind now Typically, they'd route a train around you if you need to be out on the main line for a minute or something like that. But you don't want to be out there as, as long as you possibly have to be. So we're going to leave that off, and we're going to manually flip these switches. So let's go ahead and set our train up here. We're going to throw it forwards. High idle. It's taking effect. I can just hear Greta crying. I'm going to go ahead and dump the train brake. Give her a couple of notches. Let's hope we have enough power for this. I was trying it out earlier with a few more cars with just two locomotives. It went very badly. Very, very badly. Um, 
Alright, let's turn the tags off for now, just because there's so much crap on the screen. But it is helpful, you know, when you need it, so there we go. Alright, let's get the handbrake off, so that's F5. Quick release, or you can do it, you know, per train car if you want. We'll go ahead and start getting rid of the independent brake. It was nice and gentle-like. There we go. She's rocking and rolling. And we're moving. Alright, let's go ahead and dial in. We probably should have done this beforehand, but how you figure out your code or your radio channel, it's up here. So we're UP Mojave up here, UP Radio, channel 14, tone 54. So we got the channel 54. Wait, no, I did that backwards. Son of a gun. Channel 14. <laughs> Jesus. Bam. There we go. Alright, so we're toned in. Give her another notch. And we're going to shift F12. Of course, if you're playing with a buddy or a couple of buddies, you know, that's what's good about this. You can just, uh have somebody up here waiting but for the sake of uh, speediness in the video we're gonna go ahead and flip these ourselves we got a mainline crossing we got to do here so those are good and so we're just gonna get a scooch to cross here as nice and gentle as possible all right that one's set Now, typically, in, in real life, of course, uh, or in the game, if you're in a server, whatever, your own single-player game, tread lightly doing this, okay? Um, you don't want to be doing this willy-nilly, because you can mess some stuff up, so. And the other thing is, always set back, uh, you know, whatever you switch, so. Pack it in, pack it out type of thing. All right, here she comes. Now, what's so neat about this game is you don't have to create a train like I just did. You can essentially hop in any one of these and go. Just head to the depot and uh, look up tags and destination and train symbols and all that good stuff, and you're golden. Um, you know, that'll get you started. Uh, this, you know, no, no job or local for the most part is going to be this small, okay? I'm, I'm just doing this so it's not a five-hour video, um, you know, in, in, in hopes that that'll help somewhat. If, if some of you were trying to figure this out like I was uh, totally stumped, uh, hopefully this will be somewhat helpful and, and kind of get you started on the right foot. We're going to follow the, the ass end here and flip our switches back. And turn auto on and see if all is well. See our train scooching across there. There we go. So these two tracks here are the main line. And these can be puzzles as well. Like... I, uh, I don't think I have any cars set to go back in this particular instance, but, you know, when you got to shuffle those around, it's like, uh, <laughs> it can get, it can get hairy pretty darn quick, so, you got to kind of plan out, uh, what you're going to do. Alright, we'll go ahead and flick that in. There's a bit of a grade. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's 1.4 up out of this yard up onto the uh, the Lone Pine. Go ahead and flick that in. Get the main line line back up. Give her another notch. Got a crossing just up there. All right, the last one. There she blows. All right. Love that uh, the bouncing around of the cars. It's typically going to do that on uh, slower track or disused track or anything non mainline, really. So you got to watch your speed because the son of a gun will derail the engines, the car, the whole train. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn auto back on. Now that we're done messing up the main. Alright, we're going to hop out. Try and run, jump on the back here. There we go. You hit E next to any ladder. You can just hop right on there. There's where we're going. Trying to balance the uh, the throttle out here, because this is up and down. You crawl up here, and then right here it's down. gonna go ahead and dump some air And slack. Yeah, I suck at this. <laughs> All right, we went a little bit past it, so we'll go ahead and throw her in reverse here. There we go. Give her a couple of notches. Come off with the air brake or the train brake. And start coming off the loco brake. So now we got to back back uphill. Now we're breaking down here. You really got to watch uh, what you're doing. Doing this. This got away from me earlier. Um, it was a nightmare. A living nightmare. All right, we're gonna hop off here. Flip this puppy. Line us up into the industry here, and then zoop. 
There we go. We're good on that one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Getting away from me. Let's try and hop on again here. It's just easier to see what you're doing here like this. And then obviously if you're playing the multiplayer on a server or whatnot, the roller conductor or uh, ground crew, whatever. Much easier to get a get a handle on things doing this kind of stuff. Alright, I'm off the throttle. This is actually downhill again into this industry. Gonna go ahead and dump some air. Come on, start slowing down, dang it. Yeah, this is like negative almost one. Yeah, it's negative one now. I probably could have left the tanks out there, which would have been more fruitful. But, uh, you know, again, noob, not good at this at all. No, we are not breaking. I'm going to dump it. E brakes applied. All right, hand brakes. <laughs> oh, boy. So, if you're running into some hairy situations like I just did there, if you hit Shift F5, it'll stop the train somewhat safely. Now, I was not prepared because I suck at this, but look at that. Like, you, you, as soon as the ass end of the train's coming over that hill, you got to be braking because we weren't slowing down quick enough. So, I, I should have set some retainers as well. I just noticed the, uh, the air blew apart. I should have set some retainers, you know, just, uh, just to do it, which probably would have been good, but, uh, for the sake of, Expediting again. I want to say expedition. Look at the brakes, too. <laughs> Good God. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right. It's obviously only a laughing matter because this isn't real. But, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and click that. We're going to auto A, B, and E, O, T everything again. Let's hop back in here. You can see the park brake is on there. All right, now we gotta dump these box cars off here. So shift F12. We're gonna roll back. You can hear that thing doing its thing. All right, angle clock closed. There we go. Shut that puppy off. Handbrake is set, and we're gonna remove the EOT. So that is closed. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just cutting these off. So we're going to go to this side. Going to close it as well. And this side. We're going to close it as well. And we're going to go ahead and open the coupler. Oh, we got to disconnect the air hose. There we go. Now we'll open it up. All right, too much stress force on the coupler. Cannot release coupler pin. You can run into that, so we might need to back up a little bit here. So I'm just going to let off the train brake. We'll see what happens. I'll let off the uh, loco brake. We should roll back some.
Oh, no, I got the handbrakes on. Okay, let's pop them off. That's what it is. All right, there we go. Ah! That was loud. All right, now let's pop it open. All right, ankle cocks closed, air hose disconnected. All right, so she's open. <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull forward a bit. Now you're also going to want to make sure that handbrakes are set on whatever you're leaving behind. So we got the handbrakes set on these that we just dumped off, okay? Click on each one, apply, apply, typically front and back, all to do, but what do I know? Okay. Come off that loco brake and get the hell out of here. And there it is. All right, let's go ahead and throw the EOT on there. And open the angle cock. And now you can hear the EOT doing its thing. And we'll get back in. We're going to climb up the hill. We're going to run around these tanks and shove. Yeah, this is holy moly. This is a 3% grade right here. My god. Alright, no wonder. I was feeling really bad about myself. <laughs> about that old nightmare scenario back there. Jesus. I didn't realize how bad it was. So you're going to need some decent power. And uh, probably set some retainers. Per car. So the good thing about that that kind of cheat that I did back there um, you know when you got the handbrake off and you pop them back on it'll it's kind of an emergency stop on the train you know without derailing just everything going to hell All right, we're cresting with the head and about to go downhill. I'm going to start coming off the throttles. You can see it's a bit downhill and then rises back up like a damn roller coaster. The rear of the train's still coming up out of there, though. Leave it on notch one, go hop on the back. And we're going to flip this uh, switch right here once we get past it. You can hop off, but I always mess up with the uh, the whole thing. All right, train's coming to a stop. I don't think I had the EOT properly done just a minute ago. All right, here we go. This is the tricky part. So we're going to zoom down here. All right, full loco, put it neutral. All right, we are going to close that. And we're going to partial that. And then slowly close it. Although you may not have to partial coming off of it. And we're going to disconnect the air. 
All right, let's put the handbrake on that one. Let's go to free fly here. And we'll put the handbrake on Natten. Let's go ahead and remove the EOT. First, let's close the cock there. Now, let's remove the EOT. There we go. Okay. So that's locked down. There's there's air in those cylinders and those pipes holding that in place. Or it should for the most part. Now let's hop back in the engine here. Or better yet, we gotta we gotta uncouple. See what happens here. If we too stressed it or, or what. Alright, let's take off. There she blows. Okay, good deal. Whew! Taking off like a damn rocket. Alright, so we didn't trip PCS. That's good. So for the sake of time, what you're going to want to do with stuff like this as we run up here... Give her, give her a notch here. It's a puzzle, this whole thing. So you can use these tracks how you want. As you can see, this is a dead end right now. When you get the Trona branch, that will continue on. Uh, but this is KWS, where we're bringing the tanks. As you can see, they're on the back of our train, or they were, so we disconnected. So we're going to essentially run up to right there, flip the switch, come back behind, and shove them up in there. Come back down, get on the ass end. Throw the EOT on the ass end. Typically the conductor would ride back there. And we're going 32 miles an hour on a 15 uh, legal. Because that, that's obviously how you operate trains, right? Kidding, of course. All right, let's see. Hop on the back here. There is the switch. There we go. It's coming. No, 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 no. I prematurely ebriculated. There we go. Let's see, you can get down. Get down. Like James Brown. Uh, how the hell do you do it, man? It's like, I don't know. I just hit... F12. <laughs> F12 again. Now we're at the back. We'll pop that switch. And then we'll pop that one. Hop back on the son of a gun. There we go. Now, a typical local, uh, depending on how many industries they go, can take all day and night. Again, um, you know, 
with what limited time I have to do this, I, I kind of wanted to just convey how to get it started. Uh, this is definitely not a clinic on how to do so. This is gone not so well. But uh, again, you know, hopefully those of you trying to figure things out like I may be doing, this, uh, this you know, hopefully gets you in the right direction. If you have any questions uh, that I may be, ans be able to answer, please let me know in the comments below as always. Uh, have any gripes? Any corrections? Anything you might like to see uh, be covered uh, somehow, some way? Again, let me know in the comments. Because uh, I, I feel like you know, there are a lot of helpful people in the community. Don't get me wrong. This this isn't a, a salty kind of thing, uh, what I'm about to step in, into here. But there's a lot of old hats with Run 8. And I, you know, personally never really cared for it because nothing had happened in five years from V2. So I just kind of let it fall by the wayside, even though I was always kind of interested in it. And then V3 came out, and uh, everybody was kind of kind of on the same level, if you will, you know what I mean, and then, you know, the, the old hats started picking up speed again and figuring stuff out where, you know, little little green wet behind the ear noobs like myself uh, are, are just struggling away, so uh, hopefully this this will be somewhat helpful, because I know if I, if I get on the internet, forums, uh, wherever, and start looking for how-to stuff, it's almost impossible to find for this game uh, a lot of it is you just got to do it your own you know it's trial and error um, now don't get me wrong there are some some helpful videos and forums and posts and topics and things like that out there but not a lot because it is uh, just a thing where you're just gonna have to figure it out trial and error and read 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 Let's get up here and pop that switcheroonie. Whoop. Pardon my lack of free cam skills. Alright, we need to give her another notch. Wait, is she rolling the other damn way? No, okay. Alright, we'll just sit here and wait for her. But the cool thing about this game is it's, you know, it's not meant to be one way. You can make your own railroad. You can make your own, hell, you can make your own industries. Uh, make your own locals. Make your own manifest. Whatever. Um, you know, but this is just a way to kind of get you, get you started. Get the wheels greased, if you will. All right, and that one should be gravy. It is. All right, we'll go up here and wait by the tank. For a little shove action. Come on now. Nice and gentle. It's, it's hard to like try and narrate some of this. I'm sorry for these very quiet moments. <laughs> this is uh... It can get sketchy really, really quick. Oh, mother of pearl. Okay, I didn't realize how close we were. That was like five mile an hour. I think we're okay. Please be okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay. 
Let's make sure this is popped. Tis not. There she blows. All right. All right. So same deal. Um, let's see. We'll put the EOT back here. And we'll partially open that that angle cack. Mama, that was hard. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, connect the air, open that, and then we'll partially open that. Go ahead and release the handbrake. Then we'll go down here as so I just kind of zoop through the fence there and release that one as well. There we go. All right. Zoop back to the fence. All right. I didn't have the train brake on like a dingus. All right. So that's up. Let that equalize. All right. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see. No, we're good. Surprisingly, we are good. All right, let's go ahead and shove these on up to uh, KWS here. There we go. We're pushing. Man. That was a horrible, horrible coupling maneuver. I just gave Billy Bob over there a whiplash. That's why he's just looking at me like that. Look at those eyes. It looks right into your soul. Stick our head out the window. Got a hell of a hill coming up here. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to keep up with a, a how-to, we'll say do stuff series <laughs> with uh, with Run 8 and uh, getting started, you know, for, for hopefully others like me trying to figure stuff out where it's just hard to figure out you know, your your butt from your elbow. You know what I mean? Alright, let's line us on up into here. And we'll line us up into the lefty. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Oh, God. One point two upgrade, right, Chow? Gonna try and get at least half the train up there onto that new switch or that spur before I come off the throttle.
coming in a little hot. Alright, let's just try and spot these here. What they got on there? Typically want to push them back as far as you can safely. Unless the industry wants otherwise. So normally on this local stuff, uh, you'd be carrying empties, uh, you know, and, and new orders in the same train. Some cars in front of you, some cars behind you, just a whole smorgasbord of stuff. Just, again, for the sake of ease, because I'm a noob, if I haven't conveyed that enough in this video so far. Um, you know, I'm just trying to keep it simple here just to get you started. You can pretty much do stuff however the heck you want. It is, you know, it's your simulator and your game, if you will. But if you want to do things prototypically, uh, you know, then this may not be the best thing to follow. <laughs> All right, that is closed. We'll go ahead and set that handbrake. We'll run up chill. Go ahead and set that handbrake as well. Alright, angle kick. We will close it. This one will partial it. Close it. Disconnect. Let's see if it'll open. Too much stress force. All right, that's because I braked very, very poorly. So I'm going to push the train some. Just a tiny bit. We need to go forwards a hair. There we go. Perfect. Alright, loco brake back on to full. Alright. Down to neutral. Go ahead and take the EOT off this puppy. I never put that fully to open. I left it on partial like a dingus. Remove the EOT. Angle cock is closed. And that's it. And from here, we just go back to the yard. Um, short, likely ignorant video, but again, I, I hope it was somewhat helpful because I've been trying to figure this out for a while. So uh, I guess keep an eye out for more. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or just anything you'd like to say, you know, let them rip down below. But uh, as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. But uh, anyhow, take care out there, guys.